Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we have talked about uh, memory manager, how it manages the heap memory, and we have also talked about allocator, deallocator, uh, when the object gets deleted, when when the reference count gets zero, or how the reference count get uh, gets maintained. So all these things we talked about. Now the important uh, highlight of that video was the heap memory part. Uh, so I explained that using uh, bus uh, C analogy. So uh, let's get to know or let's try to understand more about the heap memory, how it is structured or how it is uh, organized uh, at virtual level. So like I said before, heap memory can be partitioned in some kind of logical partition or in some kind of logical uh, distribution. The first layer of that uh, distribution is called as arena. So let's say here we have arena 1 and arena 2. We can say each arena is of approximately 256, 256 kilobytes. So each arena consists of 256 KB. Now let's say if your heap memory is 512 MB. So you can calculate in 512 MB how many arenas will be there. <coughs> so uh, now let's say we have two arenas here and in these two arenas the further logical divide is into something called as pools. <clears throat> so we'll have some pools here. Uh, that pool, pool will be of uh, approximately 4 KB in size. Again, if you want to calculate, now you can calculate uh, in the 256 KB arena, how many pools will be present. Now further, these pools are again divided into something called as uh, blocks. So this is called as pool and then we have something called as blocks. So this blocks is something which is inside the pool. Now here if you notice I have drawn blocks of various sizes. <clears throat> here we have like say 9 blocks here. Uh, four blocks here we have two two blocks they are of different different sizes so how, how does it actually matter or what is it actually uh, let's let's assume uh, we have an object of say uh, 17 uh, bytes so we have this object of 70 bytes 17 bytes and we want to store this object in the heap memory so we will have uh, blocks of uh, 1 to 8 kbs uh, sorry 1 to 8 bytes not kb we will have uh, blocks of let's say 9 to uh, 16 bytes. We will also have blocks of let's say uh, 16 to 24 bytes and so on. So let's say this is my bigger block of 21 byte or uh, 24 bytes. This is my smaller block of let's say 8 bytes and this is my little bigger block of let's say 16 bytes. So if I'm having a object of 17 bytes, of course, I cannot fit that in a 16-byte 16, 16 block. <clears throat> okay. So, I made a mistake here. I should put here 24 and here as 16. The bigger one should be a bigger number. Okay. So, if I want to put a 17-bytes uh, object in a 16-byte block, it is not possible. So, for 17-byte object, where it can be fit? It can be fit here in a 24-byte object. So that is how uh, the memory locations are filled based on the size of object and uh, now this particular blo block is occupied we still have other blocks which are empty and based on the object size this blocks will be occupied later on. Now another thing to notice here is <coughs> so uh, let's say I have this object here so right now its reference count is let's say 2. Now whenever its reference count will become 0, this object will be removed from here and this memory location will become free again and uh, the memory manager who manages all this memory, what it does is it tries to occupy the free memory first. <clears throat> so we have three types of memory you can say uh, or we have three types of blocks. Uh, one is uh, occupied, one is free and one is untouched. 
occupied block is a block where the some data is sitting or where some object is sitting free block is the block where the object was sitting earlier but now it is not present it is being deleted it is being removed and untouched block is a block where no object has uh, or which is not allocated to any object till now how python manager works is it tries to occupy free memory instead of touching the untouched memory so it tries to occupy as long as long as possible only the free memory and when no free memory is available when all the blocks are either occupied or there is no free memory then only it will go to untouched cells or untouched blocks <coughs> that is one important part how it manages the memory another important part is how the arena knows or how the pool knows which particular block is actually empty so uh the way the manager is implemented it maintains a link list which contains the link to the empty blocks so it contains the links to the empty blocks i am not going more into the detail but uh, just for your interview preparation or maybe for your understanding you can understand that arena contains a link list to the empty pools and empty pool contains a link list which uh, uh, points to the empty blocks or you can say free blocks and like i said before untouched block should not be touched unless the free bo blocks are also occupied <clears throat> so in this video we talked about the logical separation of memory uh, what are the three states of memory blocks what is the size of each memory block and how python memory manager actually manages the memory it looks for the free memory and then only looks for the uh, untouched memory and whatever is occupied or is already allocated that will not be used anyway and when it will be free when the reference count will become zero that's all for this video in the next video we'll be talking more about memory cells at a deeper level and we will also see how python maintains its data types in the memory thank you for watching this video